Good morning. It is a couple days after Valentine's Day. Um, I posted a separate video showing everything I got for Valentine's. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing a taste test, but my sister keeps asking me about the Pokemon chocolate, so I decided to go ahead and do a taste test. So uh, my husband got me tons of stuff for Valentine's Day. This um, is the most unique. He ordered this from Japan. There are Japan is big on Pokemon. It originated in Japan. They have a Pokemon Center. Uh, you can't like go directly to the Pokemon Center website um, di directly from Japan. You have to hire a personal shopper. My husband has done that before. It's very easy to find one on the internet. Um, he uses the same one he's had for several years. He usually gets me great stuff for Christmas. This year at Christmas we couldn't because of like the whole pandemic happening, shipping was restricted, uh, a lot of the shoppers just couldn't buy stuff and so um, world is slowly returning back to normal and so Robert was able to ask the shopper to pick this up for me um, and he actually got it through DHL. DHL is an inter international shipping carrier. Um, he got it within seven days so that was pretty impressive. So this is a metal tin and this is, look at that, it is beautiful, beautiful chocolate. There's an Eevee right there, Pikachu, the Pokemon ball, ditto, um, some stars, and then some little chocolates. And so I'm going to go ahead, I don't know what's on anything, like what kind of chocolate it is, if it has filling or anything. I believe there's stuff written on the bottom, but it's in Japanese, so... I can't read it. Um, so we're just going to try and see what kind of chocolate it is. All right. I am going to start with Eevee. If I can get it out of the... Oh my goodness. So the, it's pretty stuck into that face. Let me just pop it out. Okay. It smells like chocolate. It's solid chocolate. There's no filling. It's good. It's milk chocolate. It definitely has like a flavor. It kind of tastes like white chocolate. It definitely tastes more white chocolate than milk chocolate. That's good. There's a bit of a coconut flavor at the end right there. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it must be white chocolate flavored with coconut oil. Or coconut milk. Alright. I'm going to try Pikachu. That's another white chocolate, but this time it has a little lemon flavor. That's pretty good. That's interesting. I like it. I like citrusy. Hmm. Yeah, my palate cleanser is Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> I'm not the best palate cleanser in the world, but I love Dr. Pepper. All right, I'm gonna try Ditto. This definitely looks like dark chocolate to me, and it's pretty pretty big, so it should have a filling. I don't know that it's gonna have a filling. It does. Mm. Mm, it does. It's like a truffle. I'm getting a coffee. I'm getting a coffee flavor. That's really good. All 
right. I already have three. I'm only going to eat one more. I'm going to try one of the stars. I could eat the whole box. All right, so it's just like a plastic tray. You see the bottom? This is the bottom. And it does show the different chocolates. And if you could read Japanese, it would tell you what is in them. I can't read Japanese. For sale in Japan only. I was talking about that personal shopper. They're, um, like you have to get a personal shopper to buy a lot of stuff from Japan. Like they don't like really ship internationally, like the stores themselves. And it's interesting that it says for sale in Japan only. Um, but I'm not going to really recommend a specific personal shopper because mine's pretty busy as it is. And I don't want her to get more busy from, from you, from other people. So just like, just Google it. Look, most personal shoppers will have like reviews and stuff. So you can find a good one. Mm. Okay, that orange star is orange. It's orange flavor. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. I would definitely say it's white chocolate with the citrus flavoring. It's really, really good. Why can't they sell stuff like this in the U.S.? Why can't Pokemon sell stuff like this in the U.S.? It is so good. And this box, like, I'm definitely keeping the box. I even keep, like, cardboard chocolate boxes. So the fact that this is a metal tin is so much better. And the lid, like, oh, my God. I don't know. I follow several, um... U.S. citizens that are based um, in Japan right now because their husbands are in the military and I just love watching them because the stuff like like if you're a collector like me you see all the stuff I collect like the cute stuff you can buy over there just like this box of chocolates is collectible like everything over there is like so collectible and just watching the stuff they have access to it makes me so jealous um, if I ever travel internationally, I would definitely travel to Japan. That is definitely on my list of places that I really need to go. So all the chocolate was really, really good. This box is amazing. I don't know how much it costs. This was a present. I'm not asking my husband how much he spent. I know sh shipping wasn't cheap and personal shoppers do charge a fee, of course they're doing all the effort for you I have no problem paying personal shoppers a fee um so I'm sure this was crazy expensive but it was well worth it and definitely unique and the chocolate's really good so I will probably add more to this video of the other chocolates that he picked up that are based in the U.S. um so if you wanted to buy other chocolates like I'll add to this video, but I'll just say right now, like <clears throat> Norman Love is my absolute favorite in the U.S. He is based in Fort Myers and he ships very, um, all over the U.S. And I've never had the chocolate melt or anything. Um, so, you know, if you want to try unique chocolates, I, I recommend Norman Love. That's my most consistent. My husband loves like finding different chocolatiers and just us trying different ones every holiday and the one that we go back to consistently is Norman Love so but definitely gonna tell Robert that Christmas find me something else from the Pokemon Center because this was pretty awesome and I love it so anyway thanks for watching and I will see you later good morning I am just working in my office as normal and it's time for a snack break and so I decided to try these these are honey filled chocolate it says 72% dark chocolate filled with honey and finished with a gold dust this was uh, my husband ordered it online um, <clears throat> somewhere in California chocolate by Adam Taroni Torona Torona 
and then I also got, if you watched my Valentine video, oh, sorry, this camera will not stay straight. Um, we also got this, and the bee, it just doesn't, <clears throat> it didn't show very well. Um, and a couple of the bees broke off. We did not complain. We realized shipping chocolate is difficult, and it's not his fault, um, and it's still edible, so um, we will try it. Let's see, so first, the honey chocolate bar. Oh my god, what is wrong with my camera? You are just gonna have to deal with a crooked frame. <clears throat> Alright, there's two bars. I'm just gonna try one. Oh, and look, the background card. I like it. It's a little honeycomb. This will be perfect for my junk journal. Alright. It's very pretty. I like the mold. I love bees. You have to, um, a little backstory or not even backstory, just the fact that, um, I eat a lot of honey and my husband gets me a lot of honey product. And if I lived in a different area, I would definitely have beehives, but it's not, not appropriate for the area I live in. Mm. Oh, there we go. There's the honey. I was beginning to wonder where the honey was at. Mmm. That's good. There's like a little dab of honey. I need that whole bar. There's the honey. I gotta really chew it around to get the honey. I like the honey part. I'm not a huge dark chocolate fan. And with this being 71% dark chocolate, it's really got that bitter dark taste that I'm not a fan of. The honey does mellow it out a little, but not my favorite. I'm just too much dark chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. I will work as I am chewing that big bar. Dr. Pepper. Okay. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I just won't be getting more of that. Peanut Butter Honey Cup Crunch. And these are the four that, <clears throat> excuse me, look like beehives. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. I'm going to open at this end because this is the one that still has the bee attached. I know it. It just doesn't look that good and I think it's just from shipping all the way from California <clears throat> mm. it tastes good though oh my god so there's like it's called cup crunch there's definitely something crunchy in there The taste kind of reminds me of like a wafer bar. You know those wafer bars that little Debbie makes? <laughs> kind of tastes like that. It's good. Well, I got three left. I'll save them for later. That first bar was so big. I don't think I can eat any more chocolate right now, but Adam Torino, I liked it. Our fresh toasted sea salt peanuts coated in caramelized sugar, sourwood honey, 
pureed into a crunchy peanut butter filling and covered in decadent, decadent layers of rich milk chocolate. I didn't get any honey out of that though. I don't know why they call it a honey cup. Oh my god, the packaging is neat, but it's childproof. I can't get it shut. There we go. Anyway, I liked it. It was good. Not my favorite. Is that chocolate or just a wall? <laughs> it's just a wall. <laughs> anyway, uh, some more tomorrow. Good morning. I started eating my last box of chocolates last night. I was like just too tired to turn the camera on. But it's Norman Love. I've done videos of Norman Love chocolates before. I've never had a bad experience. I highly recommend Norman Love and they do ship um, within the US. They might ship overseas. Just every, every country has restrictions. But with your, you're in the US, you can get it no problem. So I ate two last night. Some of them are very similar looking, but they are actually completely different um he made special valentine's themed ones and here's a chart of like each one um and they're just like these chocolates you have to eat within two weeks because they are filled with like specialty like um fruit juices and stuff and so they do recommend like what's the date on here March 5th. They recommend eating by, so it's actually like three or four weeks, where a lot of boxes of chocolates, like from Whitman's and stuff, it's no hurry. It, they're good for years. Um, but the Norman, you definitely want to eat it within a month of buying it, which usually, I, I could eat this whole box today, so not a problem. I'm going to eat a couple this morning just to show, and they're very similar in their um, chocolate overlay, so I'm trying to figure out which one which one is that uh, mm, I don't know no no I'm gonna taste it and then figure out on the chart I think this is the tropical hazelnut see how beautiful it is mm. Mm. oh yeah see how it has a creamy filling that's why you kind of want to eat it within a couple weeks actually yeah this is it tropical hazelnut yuzza and banana with ground hazelnuts i definitely taste the banana flavor after your goal oh my god i wish i had more than one of those you know i have to I have my palate cleanser of dr pepper and i love that norman love always has these little guides that tell you exactly what is in the chocolates. Not every company does that. All right, I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna eat them all today, but I'm gonna space it out so I don't get sick. So this one is purple and it is honey lavender milk chocolate, white chocolate essence of lavender and honey. I love lavender, not necessarily as a food, but we'll see. Hmm. I can definitely taste the lavender. Oh, and the honey. Oh my God, look at that. It definitely looks like honey. This is so much better than the one I tasted yesterday that had honey in the middle from that other company. Oh my God. You cannot go wrong with Norman Love. So normally, you know, I love the smell of lavender. I don't think I've ever had it in food before. It's interesting. I, I can't say that I love it, but I can't say that I hate it. It's just hard for me to under comprehend because I'm so used to just smelling it. So when you actually taste it, also it's a bit odd, but in a good way. Mm. I still got six more to enjoy today. Or until March. I still have another week or two. But it ain't gonna get past the weekend. Alright, so that's it for my Valentine's chocolates. I'm gonna end the video here. Mmm. They're so good. Ten piece box. They are based in Fort Myers, Florida. And they have more than one location. I've been to like three different locations. 
I've been, I think they have two factory locations and then they also have cafes. I've been to one of the cafe, I've been to two of the cafes in one of the factory locations and they're all amazing. So if you're ever in the Fort Myers area, um, just definitely look them up and stop by. It's, you know, well worth it. And also like if you fly into Fort Myers, um, check the gift shops. The gift shops will have, um, maybe not like a big assortment box, but they will have little smaller boxes of different Norman Love chocolates. So if you want to pick up something quick for a friend as a present when you're going through the airport, it's a, it's a good pickup. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.